Uh, hi guys, this is Todd, aka Dog Boy, and um, I have just received the email from 23andMe that my DNA results are ready. I'm a little nervous about it, um, as I'm having some chats with some of you right now. Uh, sort of taking the veil off of me and my life, um, since I don't have any history uh, of myself being adopted, <clears throat> or very little. Um, I'm sort of a mystery, and uh, the mystery is about to be exposed. Not that it really changes anything, but um, it changes some things. Um, so, oh, hold on just a second while I... Um, close the blinds behind me because you can't see. Okay, so the blinds are closed and I'm at my desk at work. Um, doors closed. And <clears throat> yeah, so I really am kind of freaked out, but here we go. We're clicking on the results. View my results. Sign in to the website. Some disclaimer, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and, okay, so what do I do here? Um, Health results are ready. Ancestry results are complete. Okay, my ancestry. Dun dun dun. Ah, oh, it doesn't actually have anything. This is I'm not a fucking Neanderthal. Thank you. Um, I don't know what this means. Um, basically this still says that I have a week to wait, um, for ancestry shit. Which is kind of fucked up. This has totally teased me. I cannot believe this. Um... Yeah, so every all the notes on here are basically saying your paternal haplogroup is still being calculated and should be available within a week. Um, there's a relative finder, weak ancestry composition within a few days. So that's nothing. Um, let's look at my health stuff. <clears throat> um... Okay, I've just so I've clicked on it, elevated risks. Um, my top elevated risk is for uh, venous thromb th thrombolas, bleh, you know, blood clots. Actually, I have a, I have average risk is 12.3. I have 32.5 risk. I have an elevated risk for psoriasis. Maybe that explains my itching right now. Um, elevated risk for colorectal cancer. Uh, elevated risk for restless leg syndrome. Um, I'm some of my previous bed partners can know that's the case. Um, esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, so cancer of the esophagus. That seems to be the big ones. Everything else looks better. Uh, oh, bipolar disorder. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, a scleroderma, which I've actually had, which is another skin cancer. Um, I. What are these locked reports? I don't know. Uh, I'll get back to you. I, I don't. There's not much here. Okay, ciao.